<sighs> so I recently finished the 75 hard program and in this video I want to share how I approached it, what I did exactly and how it changed me from a personal standpoint, physically, mentally, all that good stuff and lastly if I would recommend it to you. So if you don't already know, 75 hard is a mental toughness challenge. Uh, it was created by this dude named Andy Frisella. And it's designed to help you build discipline, toughness, um, and just to help you get your shit together, essentially. So what it entails is for 75 days consecutively, there are five tasks you need to complete. And if at any point you miss one of these tasks, then you need to restart the program from day one. So what you need to do every day is, number one is stick to a diet of your choice. So that could mean calorie counting, um, a vegan diet, a carnivore diet, a keto diet, a paleo diet, or just cutting out certain food groups. Whatever you find might be most beneficial for you and that you can stick to for 75 days. Personally for me, I did a low carb, so ketogenic diet. So no grains, no starches, no sugars. Mostly just meat, eggs, dairy, vegetables, nuts. Some fruits, like low carb fruits, like berries. Um, and obviously no 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 alcohol and no cheat meals, regardless of which diet you pick. Secondly, you need to do two 45 minute workouts every day. And at least one of them has to be outdoors, regardless of the weather. So it doesn't matter if it's windy, it's raining, it's sunny. One of those has to be outdoors. Um, walking does count. And in fact, Walking was my workout of choice for most of the workouts, actually. Um, lately, I've changed my weight training to a lower frequency approach. So I only weight train like two times a week. Meaning that pretty much every other day, I would just be walking twice a day for my workouts, at least one of them outdoors. So over this period, I averaged probably... 15 to 20,000 steps a day. Um, yeah, just lots of walking. Occasionally, sometimes I'll fuck around with some kettlebells, do some swings, snatches and stuff. Or I might do some yoga. But for the most part, just a bunch of walking um, and occasional weight training. The third rule of 75 hard is to drink a gallon of water a day aka four liters for the Aussies. Um, I actually skipped this part because I don't think it's beneficial. I think four liters of water a day could actually be detrimental to most people's health. Because when you drink so much water, you need to pee a lot. And when you pee a lot, you're flushing out a bunch of electrolytes. So I actually think this could be a net negative for majority of people because 99% of people out there aren't watching their electrolyte intakes. So I actually, chose, I actually chose to just skip this one. Some might say I didn't officially complete 75 hard. Sure, I don't give a fuck. I think in my eyes, I still did it. I still did the hardest parts. But to each their own. The fourth out of the four out of five, the fourth rule out of five in 75 hard is that you need to read 10 pages a day. So I actually modified this slightly. I changed it from 10 pages a day to 15 minutes a day. Reason being is when you have the target of 10 pages a day, I feel like there is a I feel like it's very easy for you to just skim through the book and speed read for the sake of getting through those 10 pages for the day. Whereas when you set a time target, like 15 minutes instead, it gives you time to slow down, really read the words and 
digest the ideas and the concepts that the author is trying to convey to you. It allows you to actually soak in the information as opposed to just trying to get through as many words as you can so you can get the task over and done with. And 10 pages in 15 minutes is roughly the same amount of time. Like it's equivalent anyways for the average reader. Um, so if you want to do this, I would recommend doing 15 minutes instead of 10 pages. And then lastly, the last task is to take a progress picture every day, which I did as normal. So yes, I completed this. I did all of those tasks 75 days in a row without missing one. This was actually my third attempt at 75 hard. It took me three attempts to do it successfully. The first two I failed around, both of them would have been around day 30 to 40 because I forgot to take a progress picture. And you might look at this and say that is literally the easiest task out of the, the whole list. And sure, it is. And that's what the program teaches you. It's the attention to detail. It's the not forgetting the little things. Completing every single action, no matter how small it is, and not disregarding something just because it might seem insignificant. And that's definitely something I learned and it's something I picked up on and that's why I was able to complete it successfully. So, uh, let's start with the physical changes. I will pop on the screen a before and after of day one to day 75. As you can see, from walking 15 to 20,000 steps a day, plus lifting hard, plus a ketogenic diet, I definitely built some muscle and lost some fat. I say that because the scale weight didn't really change that much during this program. Um, it would have fluctuated up and down a couple pounds here and there, but I was definitely getting leaner throughout it and maintaining slash getting stronger in the gym, depending on the lift. So physical changes are definitely there, very beneficial. Um, yeah, it's just a great program for getting leaner and also instilling, installing habits into you so that you can maintain this body and stay lean forever. I feel like now that I've done this, it is very hard for me to just not walk. I feel like walking 45 minutes a twice a day has just imprinted into my brain that I need to be walking a lot. And now if I don't walk, it just feels weird. The day feels incomplete. Um, so yeah, I don't think I'll ever go a day without getting at least 10,000 steps now. It is just a part of who I am. And that'll go a long way into keeping me fit, lean and in shape for the rest of my life. Um, the other thing this program has helped me long term with is my control over my diet, my control with food and my relationship with food. I feel like I have much better willpower when it comes to food. I feel like I have a better relationship with food because when you, when you go for 75 days straight, sticking to a diet, not cheating, you build the discipline and the skills that you'll never lose. And you teach yourself that At any point in time, you are able to cut out any food group, whether it's processed sugar, processed foods, whatever it may be. You can do that at will, just because you want to. And that is what this program teaches you. Which leads me on to the next part, the discipline. I was already a pretty disciplined person, I feel like. I feel like if you asked most people that were close to me, they would say I'm a pretty disciplined person. But now I feel like that has just taken another leap to, to the next level. Nowadays, when I talk to people, when I tell them about things I do in my day-to-day -day life, for example, if I wake up at 6 a.m. and go to the gym first thing in the morning, 
Most people told me that is insane and that is just extremely disciplined. Whereas I now feel like it is just a normal part of life. Like, I feel like you'd be silly to not do that. I feel like you'd be silly to sleep in and wake up five minutes before work and just rush your morning. So doing all these tasks will definitely increase your self-discipline. And it kind of just lowers the threshold for what you see as hard or, or what requires extreme discipline. And I feel like that has, has matured me a lot. I feel like I've matured several years worth of age in the span of three months. Just in how much I'm able to discipline myself, just in how much I'm able to get shit done. Um, the fact that I can apply myself to a challenge and see it through to the end and tr trust myself knowing that I will complete it because I said I would. And I feel like that really changes you as a person. It allows you to trust yourself, which allows others to trust you, and just builds your integrity as a person. Other big thing I learned is time management. So obviously when you look at the list of five things you need to do, you might think that takes a lot of time. And it probably does, especially if you're working a full-time job, maybe you have kids to take care of as well in a busy schedule. But if anything, I think that's more of a reason to want to do this challenge because it really forces you to find pockets of time within your day where you can squeeze little things in. So let's say you might be busy all day and then you have dinner and then you've got 15 minutes before you have to go drop your kids off at basketball. What a typical person might do is just waste those 15 minutes by scrolling on Instagram, looking at other people's stories, whatever people do. But a challenge like this will force you to make the most of those 15 minutes. And maybe you do your daily reading in that time. Um, or well, let's say you have a busy day and the only time you have to go outside for a walk is your lunch break. So instead of getting your lunch, going to your lunch, your work lunch room, like the average Joe and just eating it and then going back to your desk, maybe you just quickly eat lunch at your desk and then you use your lunch break to go outside for a walk because that is the only time you have. So it's little things like these that you just learn and you pick up because this challenge forces you to manage your time so much better, especially if you're busy. Um, lastly, a major, major growth part that I got from this challenge is reading. I've been reading on and off for my life for many years Sometimes I would be very diligent with it, and then sometimes I wouldn't read at all. Doing this challenge has reinforced the importance of reading to me. I mean, I've always known it's important, but sometimes you just forget, and you don't realize how much you're missing out on until you stop and then you start it again. Over this period, I read, I would say, maybe five nonfiction books. And if you think about it, a book that you can consume in a few hours has an author's wealth of knowledge in it. They've spent maybe 5, 10, 15 years compiling experiences and knowledge into something you can consume in a few hours. So just think about how much knowledge is in such a compact piece of information. And you're really missing out on this if you're not reading. I feel like I've learned so much from reading these five books in these past three months. And I think I can't see myself going back to not reading because the moment you stop learning is the moment you start dying, as they say. And there's just so much out there to learn. And it can be anything that interests you. It doesn't have to be like 
fucking metaphysics or um, I don't know quantum physics, spirituality. It can be whatever you want. It can be about body language, ketogenic diets, whatever interests you. But I think it is important to just continually read, to continually expand your knowledge, introduce yourself to new ideas, new concepts, different ways of thinking, so you can continue growing. So, will I continue these habits even though the program is finished? Yes, I'm actually going to do the second stage of 75 hard, which has a few more tasks on top of those five tasks. Um, I might make a video after I finish that. I don't know, who, who knows, we'll see. But even after that, I feel like I will continue as many of these habits as I can. Um, taking a progress picture every day is probably not needed, but walking as much as I can, staying strict with my diet as much as I can reasonably, um, reading as much as I can. Obviously missing days here and there is fine, but I feel like I will take most of this and just continue it for the rest of my life. I don't see any reason not to. So final recommendation, do I think you should do it? Yes, I think anyone, pretty much everyone under the sun should give this a go. I think the more resistance you have right now to doing it is probably more of a reason for you to do it. You might think you don't have time. You might think you're not disciplined enough. These are all reasons that you should do it. Like you should not be excited to do this. If you are excited to do this, you're probably a psychopath. Um, but any resistance you have to doing this right now is more of a reason for you to do it. So man up, just fucking dedicate yourself to 75 days. I promise you it will change your life. It has changed my life. And I wish you all the best.